It's no secret that the NHS is under pressure at the moment, but just how bad are things in our hospitals? Well, it can help to get some statistics, for instance, on waiting times, but only if those statistics are accurate. And twice this week on BBC News, they weren't. Here's Sarah Smith reporting on the difficulties faced by A&E departments in Scotland for Tuesday's News at Six. Busy accident and emergency departments in Scotland mean patients are facing their longest recorded waiting times. Last week, over 100,000 patients waited more than four hours to be seen. Nearly 300 waited longer than 12 hours. Scott Harrison was one of a number of viewers who pointed out what he called quite a huge error there, writing, Sarah Smith stated that last week over 100,000 patients waited over four hours to be seen. That figure actually referred to the number during the whole year of 2017. Only 25,865 Scots actually visited A&E for the week ending the 31st of December. BBC News confirmed that. Sarah Smith mistakenly used an annual figure rather than a weekly one for waiting times in A&E departments in Scotland. The weekly figure was 5,686. We used the weekly stats in all subsequent bulletins and coverage. But that wasn't the end of the matter. On Thursday, Catherine Burns was reporting for the News at One about problems in hospitals in England. To add to this, more statistics showing that December was the worst month for A&E waiting times since records began in 2004. 3,000 patients in England were not seen within the four-hour waiting target. Viewer Scott Harrison took to his email again to write, Today a reporter goes the other way and massively underestimates the numbers waiting more than four hours across English NHS in December. She said the figure was 3,000 when it was actually more than 300,000. Again, like Ms Smith, a huge error.